gamer boy saying the uh, the tutorial man only has uh, <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> only has ears. <laughs> <laughs> they took my see. face <laughs> and your necks. That's like creepy pasta stuff. It's like Pokemon. I remember there was a Pokemon Black, which was like a corrupted copy of Silver, where you start off with like a ghost that kills trainers, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the game you see all the trainers you've killed, and then the main <laughs> character commits suicide, and it's some dark, edgy stuff. Oh, wow, that's edgy. <laughs> it's so edgy. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was great. Are they going to say Team Four Star made the second Mewtwo? That would be interesting. No, um, they're the guys who made Dragon Ball Z abridged, mm. which is l just a parody of Dragon Ball Z, which is really good. You should watch it. Even if you haven't watched Dragon Ball Z, it's worth it. I think I've seen a couple of episodes. Yeah. I, think was, I think you were over and I showed some on the TV. Sometime. No. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I remember watching them in a hotel. Oh, what? it's on the internet only, though. Really? Yeah, it's 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 well, dra then I, I, then it's Dragon Ball Z, but like a parody, but a good parody where it keeps. Like the, I'm talking about the original. Oh yeah, no. If you've seen the original, then yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I was on it. Like we're, we're almost up the. Well, no, we're halfway. We're still halfway through the hour. I thought by this point we'd already be at the first gym. Really? I mean that's fine. Um, you kind of forget how slow the first Pokemon games are, though. Because, like, definitely in, in the newer ones, you're, like, within the first 40 minutes, you're at the first gym, usually. You know? Except, like, Platinum. Platinum made it unnecessarily long, I feel like. It's like, Diamond and Pearl was fine, but then Platinum came and they made it longer. Which was good. <laughs> Say it's good. <laughs> okay, no, no. I used to really dislike Gen 4. Oh, man. Um, it used to be my least favorite, but looking back, no, it's good. Looking back, it's good. Like, yep. no Pokemon game is inherently bad, except X possibly y. X and Y. I, I'd argue that. The only thing good about X and Y are, like, the, the, the battle scenes. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the chat is going off the um, side of the screen. You're not missing much. It's literally one letter, so it's fine. I can't fix that. It's just due to some issues on my computer. So, because if you see, it's like cutting off like one oh, letter okay. at the end. So that's fine. Um, yeah, no, it's like definitely looking back. Gen four, not bad. Um, I find it a little more boring compared to some of them, but that's only because for me the color palette, especially, it's very saturated. Like, no, like when I think of each Pokemon game, usually one area comes to mind that represents the entire game for me. Um, in the original, it's definitely like the route after Pewter City, which is like a big open route with lots of ledges, and it's uh, it's not necessarily the best route, mind you, but it's what comes to mind. Mm -hmm. In this one, it's definitely um, Ecrutec City, I think that's what it is, um, which is like the ghost, the ghost gym leader city, the very Japanese one. I don't know if you remember playing that one in Soul Silver, Heart Gold, whatever. Mm, no. Okay, so there's there's like a, there's a ghost city. I think it's at Krutek, and it's it's very Japanese inspired, and it's it's really cool. Let me open up. Is the it map. like a tower? There's there's two towers there. There's the burn tower, and then there's the tower with Lugia or Ho. -Oh. No, no. It's it's this one here, at Krutek, Yeah, it's like that one for me represents this game. But when I think of of Gen, okay, then Gen three, it's uh it's the route where you get uh where you fight. Mayor Brendan the second time underneath the uh, the cycling road, okay. and it's just like with the blues and the greens, and it's all colorful. But for for Gen Four for me, when I think of it, I think of like like the first gym areas. For me, I'm gonna I, I forget the name, but I'm pulling it up right here. Like like you know the first gym, right? Um, Rourke. Yeah. You know like his first town. I think of that, which is just like brown. And maybe a little bit of green, but it's not a bright green. So that's all I think of. I think of these brown pits that the first towns are in. And it, it really just makes me feel kind of not welcome, you know? That's just for me. Um, other people have, uh, you know, obviously different areas where they think of it. Yeah, for me, it's definitely Hearthome, Hearthome City. Yeah, no, like, yeah, that's, that place is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That place is huge. Although it's strange, the inclusion of a church that does nothing. I always thought there was something there. 
but it's just world building. Um, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, right? Yeah. Like there's a church that you can go in and talk to people. And I always thought, um, I didn't imagine Poke Apocalypse, did I? I have no idea what that is, so possibly. Yeah, Diamond and Pearl does run slowly too. Um, because there's no, like the battles and stuff, they seem pretty slow to me. I don't know, it's just something about that game. No, like, that's fine. I mean, like, I'm not... This is just my opinion, so... I'm going, like, the wrong way, so... <laughs> that's fine, it's just to the left here. Gotta fight this guy. Or you don't have to, but I'm gonna anyways. Oh. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Widdly, 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 widdly. So we got Youngster Joey. You know what Pokemon he's going to have, right? You should know. It's a meme. It's <laughs> it's it's a meme. Youngster Joey is a meme. This is one of the memes that have dodged. <laughs> You've dodged this meme? <laughs> yeah. He has a Rattata, and it's his Rattata is in the top percentage of all Rattata. <laughs> really? That's the meme, because he calls you up and tells you that. And if you look in the game's data, indeed, his Rattata has more stats at level 4 than any other Rattata you can get. <laughs> it is literally in the top percentage of Rattata. Really? Yeah. Because he gives you his phone number after this, and he will straight up call you in the middle of the <laughs> Pokemon League and be like, Hey, what's going? What's going on? My Rattata is in the top percentage of all Rattata. Hey, okay, bye. It's like, okay. Ugh, I don't have any more Pokemon. So, he, does he not give you the phone number? Oh, I guess not. Oh, oh, right here. Can I get your phone number? Sure. What if you What if you say no? <coughs> you don't get his phone number. But then you also miss out on all the all the dank memes, bro. Okay, the dank memes. Dankest memes. Funny thing is, he does. He does have, have a top percentage. <laughs> this guy gives me a berry. It's good to have. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need you need to say it like Teddy from Persona. He makes bear puns. Oh, okay. I think he's like that's very cool. <laughs> You're gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, no. Poke Apocalypse was a live action parody movie of gritty. Oh yes, I remember seeing that. Um, that was just a, a parody thing. There is always, um, well, you heard Sony wanted to make a live-action Pokemon movie in the leaked emails. Really? Yeah. Well, I, heard, I heard Smash Brothers. Well, there was Smash Brothers, Pokemon, Zelda, Mario. That, that's weird. Um, that... And they wanted to make live-action movies of all of them. Huh. That... But, I mean, well, Sony, the movie company, is completely different from Sony, the, yeah, the yeah, game yeah, company. Like, so, it's just... I don't they think... they make the Smurfs? They did make the Smurfs. Then, no, I don't want <laughs> anything from them. Well, you heard what, you heard what they are making, though, right? From the creators of the Smurfs? Oh, what is Sonic it? the Hedgehog! They, the live-action CGI it? hybrid! Yes! <laughs> like, it's confirmed. It's confirmed, 100%. There's official documents, and, like... But you know what? Like, the, the Sly Cooper, the Ratchet & Clank movies, they look good. Because yeah. they're all animation. The Yeah, num well, Sly Cooper, the, the redesigns, you know, kind of iffy. I don't really like that, but, like... But it's else. still... I think it's still gonna be good. Yeah. Um, but the one big thing about them is... Those games and Sony stuff in general are made to be more story oriented. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank, it's basically an interactive movie with, with how it's written, right? It's like you can't make a Zelda movie because it's written as a game. Yeah. Like, all of them are basically 100% games. Like, the closest it comes is like Skyward Sword, and even then, I'd argue that one is still very much a game. Um,. Mario, okay. <laughs> I don't think I can bear it any longer. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest. This, this might this might come across as a little little terrible. I like the live action Mario Brothers movie. You know I what? I've genuine... never seen it before. <gasps> One day we're gonna watch it because it needs to be seen. <laughs> because... I know I know what they all look like. I just haven't seen the movie in full. As a movie, it's so like I'm not gonna say it's terrible. <laughs> but it's like such a, a part of the 90s that you can't hate it. You really can't hate it because it is just such such a wonderful look into 
what they what the movie creators saw when they saw Mario. There's barely a movie of Mario. Yeah, too. yeah, that's that's what I was saying with the uh, the stuff. No, there's a big delay in the chat, so they're hearing like as like I, thirty seconds behind us. Yeah. So, um, we're in the future. We are in the future. <laughs> um, but there's no like I really like the live action Mario Brothers movie as a movie, uh, because it is just schlocky. Like, where did they come fun. up with the idea with the look of the Goombas? With the look of that's Bowser. What, that's what they like, looked at. Well, okay, Bowser Bowser has an excuse that he uses an evolution beam to evolve from his lizard self into a human. Okay. Because in in the in this Mario world, monkeys didn't evolve into people. Lizards <laughs> did. So <laughs> I need to see this movie now. It's so like it, it it needs to be seen. It is something amazing. Um They saw Luigi being red and Mario being green. It's, it's strange, um, in a good way. So yeah, no, we're, we're gonna watch it one day because, and it's funny because when Shigeru Miyamoto saw it, he said that they were, <laughs> which is a hilarious thought. He said, yeah, they're being too faithful. What? And I know people laugh at that, but I agree. They took everything way at face value, like looking at the games, like, Huh. Like, because they just based it on, like, so Mario like, 1, 2, and 3. A Mario thing, but, like, everything looks different. No, like, what I'd say is, you don't need to have Mario and them running through the Mushroom Kingdom and just being but themselves. Weren't they, were they in the real world the whole time? No. Uh, really? The Mushroom Kingdom is an alternate dimension to the real world. Oh. So they go through a portal and they're in the mushroom. I thought kingdom. they were just in like the sewer pipes in the no in New York. No, 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 no. Like... Um, that'd be stupid. <laughs> uh, they do come from New York though, and of course everything comes from New York. Well, or everything well, goes to New for, York from for... an another. <laughs> That's true. For a long time, um, that was the story. Was that Mario and Luigi were plumbers from Brooklyn yeah, who yeah. fell into a pipe and all of a sudden they're in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's like, <laughs> that was the story. Yeah. Nowadays, they basically said, yeah, no, Mario and Luigi, born and raised in the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, I love I love debating Mario canon with people because they're like, <laughs> so Mario and Luigi are from Brooklyn. I'm like, actually, according to Yoshi's Island, baby Mario, born in the Mushroom Kingdom. Also, so. mushroom people don't have sex. They literally just, they're, they're, <laughs> Their babies are like spores that grow in the ground. Then the the storks come and deliver them. Really? Yeah. Huh. Which is really terrifying. Like honestly. Also, toads don't have genders. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, they don't have sex. They have genders though. Okay. So they don't have any. It's like toad and toadette. Yeah, it's like toad identifies as a female or male. Yeah. Toadette <laughs> identifies as a female, yeah. but there's no actual distinction. Based just on appearance. Yes. Yeah. Mario Cannon <laughs> is the weirdest thing. <laughs> Mario Cannon. Is there going to be a Mario game in this line today? Um. Can you confirm that? Right no. Now? No. No. Really? Mario games, I, like, I liked them, but I didn't like, like them for until I sort of realized the beauty in Mario, which there is. Like, um... Every Mario game, even Mario Sunshine, which I know a lot of people crap on, there there is a beauty in that game for me, mm -hmm. where they made a whole island that I believe is one of the only true places in a platforming game that is totally believable. I saw that comment. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like in the Mario Bros. movie, is the equivalent of like in Sonic 06. Is that true? No. <laughs> See, well, I mean, I guess because you both like them because they're they're terrible, but I don't like the Mario movie as a Mario movie. I like it as a movie. I don't like Sonic as a Sonic game, but I also don't <laughs> like it as a game, you know? Um, no, there's... Imagine what Dr. Eggman's going to look like in that live action. Well, we don't know if he's going to be live action or CGI. Like, we all we know is that it is Sega themselves animating Sonic and the team. It's not going to be like the live action Sonic fan film which I absolutely despise. Oh. Oh. No, it's okay. it's I thought, it's I thought like they're going to cut like 
real life versions of themselves. No, God, no. <laughs> like it, they are okay. using Sega's so it's models. So going to be like uh, Looney Tunes back in action, or yes, where or, but uh... and how they were animated by the by by them, like by the okay. official makers of it. So it's okay, then maybe that would be like. A the only part is the live action. Chance. The only part is the live <laughs> action. That could go wrong. Um, could but get no, Brendan that's Fraser in there, and <laughs> <laughs> honestly, wouldn't even hate that. Like, as long as it's not some terrible child actor. It, uh, so many people hated the Looney Tunes. Eggman will be live CGI. What does that mean? That is two that's kind different of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. No, so I don't know. But yeah, back to Pokemon. Uh, oh, okay. I, I don't want a Pokemon movie, like a live-action Pokemon no, no, movie. No. I think people want it, and I'm like, this would be terrible. Actually, yeah, the chat is very far over, so I'm going to actually refix this quickly. So this is going to look weird for a sec, guys. Just one sec, I'm going to fix the chat live on camera. Here, just walk around. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to go window capture. I'm going to go in here. This woman. Is that a. Oop, that didn't work. Hi, guy. Sprout Tower. You came from here? Yes. And. Dr. Eggman will be, be an egg that Sega drew Bison on mustache on. <laughs> Amazing. I'd be down. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Is that foreign? <laughs> but if you don't have... Wait, goodness. Okay, I can, I can take it back now. I can take it back now. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> Okay, there we go. See, I, this one thing I like about gold and silver. Look how Japanese this is. Like, you got their shoes here. Those are shoes? Those are, yeah, those are their shoes. They, you take off your shoes at the front door. You know, you got the, the, the table and the mats. And gold and silver yeah, were so. incredibly Japanese. Especially that one town. Yeah, Acritech. But, yeah. like, even this one, this one's very Japanese, too. Like, you'll see just in a sec as we proceed northward. Like, look at this tower. The straight up Japanese tower, which are real things. The swaying oh, pillar in the middle. That's that's a pillar. That's a pillar. That's a pillar. What Basically, is it moving? um, well, this it's called. That's the, not safe. Well, no, it's called the Bell Sprout Tower because they have a pillar in the middle that can move back and forth that holds oh, the tower okay. together, and it's called the Bell Sprout because it moves like a bell sprout. These are real. It looks really weird. It does look weird. Um, and essentially what it is is um. Like, these are used to stop earthquakes. If there's an earthquake, the middle thing will shake, but the tower around it won't. Hmm. Yeah, so, these are real. Wow, that's cool. It looks like a, it looks like a waterfall. It sort of does. That'd be cool, like a waterfall. I think it's only because I actually know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> that I, that I <laughs> don't would've, see they it. They would have probably corrected us. Yeah. So, how far are we at? We have ten more minutes with this game before we switch off to the next one. Don't spoil. I'm not going to spoil, <laughs> but we're going to be covering many different consoles. That's good. In fact, th I will say there aren't two on the same console. No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, it's, uh, no. Is one of these games multiplayer? Yes. Oh, yes, one of them is, and we will definitely play the multiplayer of that one. <laughs> In fact, one well, of the reasons it's on my about. list. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, we'll see. One of the reasons it's on my list is because of its great multiplayer, which uh, we will get to. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. That one's the third one, though. That's all I'm going to say. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Okay. okay. No. I'm actually surprised. We'll see. It might not like, be. I'm, I'm like 90% sure. I know okay. what you're talking about. Okay, okay we'll okay. see. I just hope Eggman isn't like his Sonic 6 version, you know, with the giant gold nipples. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He has bottle caps on his jacket, and two of them are on his nipples, and they're big and gold. You know, I've only seen the beginning part of Sonic 06. Don't. I've only played Don't go any the further. Part. Don't go any further. It's, because... uh... It's something. <laughs> I can't believe This Sonic isn't about Sonic. Sonic. This is about Pokemon. So let's keep it on Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Also, was confused. I was confused at how um, 
I got two new followers. Hero of Termina and Green Turtle 112. Thank you for following. Yeah. Um, I was always confused how you pick up Pokeballs as items, but then they showed that they're just chests in the shape of Pokeballs. You should uh, turn the Pokeballs on the uh, outer layers red. Oh, you can't actually. This can't? is this this background in the outer layer yeah. is programmed into the game. Oh, okay. A lot of like M Nintendo made Mario and like Pokemon games would have their own backgrounds pre-programmed in. Oh, okay. So this one it says Pokemon Silver version, and it's so if you put gold in it, say gold. It, it would and say gold be, and be gold. Be tent. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mario games have like Mario style backgrounds. Zelda oh, ones have really? Zelda style backgrounds. I never heard of the Super Game Boy before. Yeah, no, it's it's literally just a way to play Game Boy games on your TV. Um, and so, like it's a physical virtual console. Sort of, yeah. Um, you're playing on your actual game. Yeah. Um, and it's and you can change the background color palettes. <laughs> anyway, back to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's just because <laughs> someone someone said that in the chat. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not super much to talk about Pokemon, but that's just my heater. Don't worry. Um, heater? Yeah. Like, because this room gets really cold. And it just, <laughs> it just regulates it. But we got Ember, so we will destroy these Bellsprouts. Bellsprout is a very weird-looking Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's literally a a flower with arms and legs. Wow, yeah, no. Pokemon Gen What's 1. What's the weirdest Pokemon? You know, you, you, like, okay, other than yeah. Garbodor, which doesn't count, because he's <laughs> freaking insane. You know what I'm talking about, right? I'll search it out. The big thing of garbage. Oh! With with the pipe coming out, he's like, and his oh, two okay. little pom-poms. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah, yeah. Garbodor is is actually the worst. <laughs> um, and I love Gen 5. Um, but, like, Gen 1 had some just weird ones. The Hitmons. Hitmon, Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee. Hitmonchan, he was like a boxer guy, and Hitmon Lee had the long segmented legs. Let's yeah, they were they had weird designs. Sunflora, well, Sunflora was a sunflower, like that was not too bad. Um, I sun, Sunflora never bothered me too much. No. It's pre-evolution no, kind. No, not hot monchi. <laughs> hot monchi. <laughs> How do you spell it? Hit H I T. Hit. Yeah. H I T M O N, Chan, and Hitmon Lee. Oh, these guys don't look very weird. What? To just me? in terms of like, but in terms of all Pokemon, like boxers. that. Just, but that just looks like a human. <laughs> like it just looks like a dude almost. Like the, the Gear Pokemon. That's what weird. Gear. The, the um, the one on the um the stage, on the Steel type. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Gear. Gear. One. Yeah, Gear. Yeah. That's its name. Gear? Gear. <laughs> well, okay, there's gear, Original. then there's gee gear, and then there's gee gee gear. <laughs> Those um, are the ones that... Wait, no, 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 wait, no, I got... That's their Japanese names. Kling, Clang, Clang. and Kling, Clang. Ah. That's what it was. Yeah, no, um, have you seen the Sunflora episode? No. Probopass. Probopass is pretty weird, but I like him. He's the, uh, the evolution of Nosepass. Okay. He's like... Uh, you know nose pass, right? He's like a little little stone guy. Yeah. He has a nose. Yeah. It's that, but bigger. Has a giant mustache. <laughs> has like a hat. I actually love it because it's just the Easter Island heads. I have not seen the Sunflower episode. Jinx. Jinx is weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. Nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save <laughs> that. Um, well, you know what? But Jinx was censored, right? Really? In Pokemon Red and Blue and related media. She had a black face. Oh yeah, that. Uh... Now she's purple. Right. Yes, I know. What because you're people about. were like, "That's a that's a stereotype on black people," but it was yeah. actually a stereotype on Japanese people, because in in Japanese culture, there's a subculture called gankuro, where girls tend their skin super dark, get blonde hair, and wear crazy fashion. Yeah. And it still goes on to this day, and it was a thing on that. But, I mean, when you bring it to America, when they have the black skin, I mean, it's like there's a character on Dragon Ball Z called Mr. Popo, and he was he was literally, like, entirely black with big red lips. Oh, okay. Isn't very politically correct. <laughs> so they made him blue, and now he's blue, and everyone jokes about blue Mr. Popo. It's weird that items look like Pokeballs. Yeah, that was, that was definitely something strange and confused me as a kid. 
It always bothered me that Diglett's evolution looked like two of his friends showed up just because he didn't doesn't have a genuine evolution. Yeah, you could say the same about Magnemite and Magneton. <laughs> um, it's like there's a couple of Pokemon like that. Mr. Popo's sister, yeah, that's what people call Jinx. It's a lot of bell sprouts. This is the Bell Sprout Tower, man. Oh yeah. What yeah. else do you think is gonna be here? Freaking ghastly? <laughs> <laughs> that's only at night. <laughs> No, I'm serious. It's only at night you can get ghastly here, too. Oh, okay. Dude, I know more about Pokemon than anything I've learned in school. Like, you can ask me almost anything about, I'd say, Gen 1, 2, 3, 5. What are the Elite Four's names in black and white? In black and white? Yeah. Oh, the Elite Four. Okay, no, I got this. In black and white, it's... Wow, you actually stumped me. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't remember at all. Pokemon 2? You know that? Um, it's the same Elite Four. Okay. All I know is that. Um, other than the champion. Can you imagine if four kids made Shadow blue and red? <laughs> That'd be funny, because they made Mr. Popo blue, so mm. they made Shadow. Yeah. Think you're going to get through this belt hour in four minutes? Probably not. I think we're going to save after this and move on to our next game. Okay. Uh, we just have to fight with the Grandmaster who has, I'm pretty sure, two more bell sprouts. <laughs> uh, but oh, no. Volcano. I, I definitely love um, Pokemon Gold and Silver. It's actually a favorite by a lot of people, so. It's not my favorite. Lickitung is probably the weirdest Pokemon to me. Lickitung is pretty weird. He's just a pink guy with a big tongue. That's it. Like, not, not a guy, but he's kind of like a chameleon? Almost, yeah. Yeah, it was just strange. Okay, so I think we're going to save here and move on to our next game. <gasps> You'll see. Okay. I'm actually going to switch up. Uh, I'm going to stop the stream so that it can stop okay. and uh, change the game. Okay. So uh, don't go anywhere, guys. We're moving on to our next game in just a second. Ciao. Bye-bye.